Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a really, really cool team for you guys. It is Lychee Berry Sceptile. So here's the strat. We're gonna sub down to Lychee Berry range, aka Unburdened range as well. Um, because we're gonna activate our Lychee Berry and we're gonna get our Unburdened boost. So that means we're gonna get an attack boost, plus one attack boost, and we're gonna have our speed doubled, outspeeding any choice server in the tier. Uh, we're also going to have SD to have an extra oomph when we can, Leaf Blade for stab, and EQ for coverage. We have a defensive bulky scissor. I know it's kind of weird when we don't have spadef scissor, but, <laughs> you know, we kind of need the defensive scissor because our team is really weak against stuff like Mamoswine, Weavile, all that stuff that scissor can kind of handle. Kind of. <laughs> Anyways, uh, scissor is going to be our defogger for the team. And our stealth rocker for the team is going to be Chomp, Tank Chomp that is. Uh, we're, we have that extra uh, 4 EVs in uh, speed to outspeed max speed zone, max speed Empoleon. Um, we have uh, Fire Blast for a Scizor and EQ, which even though it's uninvested, does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Um, we have Cloyster with Shell Smash. Uh, this, this is one of my favorites, Cloyster sets... Uh, coming back from the Rapidash video. Um, of course, again, I have Ice Shard uh, to out-prioritize uh, fast race scarfers um, like Lottie, and of course to completely nuke Breloom. Specs, yeah, Mega, making a comeback. Uh, usually I, I run U-turn over Sleep Talk because I just think, um, you know, momentum is better than being an absolute counter to Breloom. And also Breloom um, likes to run Rock Doom these days, so I'm not too confident. Or going, going, making a hard switch into uh, yeah, Mega on Breloom's. But I am comfortable hard switching into Rotom Washes with this Lantern set. Choice Specs Lantern returns, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you may have noticed some changes. Um, for example, we have Surf over Scald because I want that extra power. And we have T Bolt over Brine because uh, last video, Brine was never clicked. And, you know, T Bolt, it's just a good stab that we can. Uh, uh, that we can use without having to switch out like Volt Switch. So anyways guys, that is a team. Let's get right into it. Um, <laughs> and I DC'd. <laughs> Perfect. Alright guys, I am back. I have reconnected and let's get the show on the road. Sorry about that disconnection. Maybe the servers are doing something. Anyways, we got a really, really cool team here uh, with Prankster uh, Volbeat. <laughs> uh, really cool. Uh, I, I love seeing chat out on the team. <laughs> Who knows, it might be a nasty flawed uh, chatter. Maybe even inspired from my video, just maybe, just maybe. But anyways, let's focus on the battle here. Um, we do have a uh, shuffle that we have to deal with, so let's really think about this one, let's really think. I think what I want to do first is, um, I want to go Lantern, he's probably going to go Shuckle. He actually goes Rotom, so that's perfect. Very, very nice for us. It's a very nice uh, start. I'm gonna Volt Switch. I don't care at all. I don't care <laughs> at all. So that we have uh, Specs. Um, we can... We, so I'm gonna try and bait out his um, Volt Switch. So I'm gonna uh, go back into Lantern. As he Volt Switches. Yep, he's locked into Volt Switch. So now I'm gonna click it. I may be faster um, and I don't really mind. Anyways, uh, that's cool. He goes into Shuffle. And now, I probably should um, go Scizor and start defogging. But, ooh, I kind of want to go Sceptile. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I really want to go Sceptile. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna be a fool. I'm not gonna be a fool. I'm, I'm play it safe. I'm play it nice and safe. Okay, so we could go. Hmm. So what we can do? We can go cloister maybe and just rock blast for some good damage. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Rock blast is gonna be super effective. And once he sets up um his uh, hazards or hazard. Probably gonna be webs. I'm gonna go straight into Scizor. So yeah, we got some nice damage. Some nice clean damage. He is 
Oh, he's a pinch berry. Very cool. Power trick? Um... Uh... I'm just gonna... Spear should kill then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Okay. <laughs> Uh, I completely thought it would be a uh, web steam, but <laughs> huh, power trick. Very cool, very cool. I'm comfortable with that. I'm kind of scared of the Volbeat, um, but Jumpluff is in right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm scared of the Volbeat because it it has Prankster and probably has Prankster T Wave. That could decimate my team. Anyways, Jumpluff is in. He's in. He might just go for Sleep Powder. So I'm gonna go into Scizor as he goes Rotom. Um, he is Specs Rotom, so I'm gonna go Lantern. Lantern would not care about a Hydro, not even a Will of Wisps. Nope, no worries, no worries whatsoever. So time to Volt Switch. This goes Volbeat. Volbeat is a threat, an absolute threat. Um, so I'm gonna go Guard Jump. Yeah. Oh, what's threatening about this thing is uh, the fact that it has um, T Wave. Uh, I'm just gonna Stealth Rocks. As he, oh, he's the he's a tail go sleeper set. Ah, uh, interesting. I'm gonna fire blast then. As he endures, what? What move do you have? Or sorry, item. Okay, uh, so he has the what is it called? The uh, slackberry. Uh, uh, throw back to uh, Gen three OU, or more like UU. I don't think o OU uh, had endure slackberries. Um, okay, so Volby is in. Um, what should I do? I want to keep. Do I want to keep Guard Shuffle later? Um, ah, it kind of does deal with Salinus, I see. But you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to risk anything dying. Oh wow, <laughs> guys, <laughs> there's a reason why Volby isn't uh, isn't anywhere above NU. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's a pitiful damage. Yeah, guys, Tail Glow, it's the same move that got many Fee banned, but <laughs> how unfortunate. But yeah, you know what, guys? I don't consider that a win. We we are, we are facing off against, like, a NU, are you at best uh, team. So anyways, here's a real team. Here's a real team that we gotta work ourselves around. Um, I'm gonna lead Chomp. Get maybe a early rocks up. Maybe, maybe. And start timer. Also, guys, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I made uh, my recording screen a bit smaller so we can uh, see the entire battle just a little bit bigger. Um, so let me know if you like the change, or maybe if you want me to go back to the old style of uh, recording full screen. But uh, yeah, just let me know. Let me know. Also, um, I started a new series where I try and teach beginners how to play uh, competitive Pokemon. Or more, not really teach them how to play, it's more like uh, I teach some core basics that um, intermediate or uh, experienced players would understand. Uh, my first video was comp it was uh, all about what stealth rocks were, um, how to like how to deal with them, what they do, uh, how effective they are, and um, you know, it was a really fun video to make. And next I'm thinking about making a video about spikes, because yeah, it's, it's you know, I think it's nice for uh, beginners to get in on the on the Pokemon showdown competitive scene. Anyways, he does go his Kaigaku <laughs> uh, Magnet Zone. Um, I don't think he's going to stay and he's probably going to go into Gliscor, so I'm just going to do this. As he is Specs, that is, a, that is Specs damage. Uh, okay, so let's think about this. Would he switch? If I were him, I would definitely switch. But who knows, he might, he might just stay in. Just in case, so I'm gonna EQ. We have revealed that we're a bit faster, but yeah, okay, so he makes a correct play. Nice, nice. Oh, that's a <laughs> Gyutaro <laughs> uh, from Kimetsu no Yaiba, uh, Demon Slayer. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Hey guys, it's a, it's a pretty good anime if you guys haven't watched it yet. Um, anyways, he might defog this. He might be he might be trying to set up rocks. Um, let me think. Let's see, let's see. Oh, just in case he defogs, I don't want. Uh, I I was thinking about going hard into Kleister, uh, <laughs> Kleister, but um, I don't want him to activate our White Herb with defog, so I'm gonna go Scizor first. The U turns. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so he goes Nido. Uh, this thing's a threat. An absolute threat. Um, what should I do? What should I do? Yeah, my, my uh, <laughs> my team's, uh, really weak against the uh, Nido King. I, I really didn't want to, but I think I need to sack Chomp. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna die to a U-turn from Scizor anyways. So, yeah. So, I'm to sack Chomp. Fire Blast. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Lantern doesn't want to take an Earth Power. Wow, no, nothing, nothing on my team really wants to, uh, deal with this thing, does it? <laughs> that's funny. Um, if that's the case, I suppose I could go Sceptile and just sub down to uh, Light Berry range. Here goes Scizor. And another Demon Slayer character. Um, now what I can do, what I can do is... I suppose I could just SD. Ah, he's, okay. You can do that. You can do that any day of the week. Um... I don't think this would kill, but I think this would put me in light berry range, so I'm just gonna EQ. Ah, he U-turns here! No! Uh, I should've subbed. Man. I, I definitely thought he would do a U-turn again. But yeah, th this guy's making some clean plays. Some nice plays. A formidable opponent. Very nice. Uh, let's see what he's gonna U-turn out into. Yeah, good call on him reading that I was trying to get uh, an unburdened boost. But yeah, guys, imagine if we if if we if we were able to uh, get our boost, um, we'd have we'd have nicely probably slept his team because his only priority mon is Scizor. But anyways, uh, this thing is in. Um, would he have Mega Oko? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Another scary thing is that I don't know his set. Uh, I'm gonna go Scizor first. He might have Fire Blast or Flamethrower, but uh, I'm willing to take the risk. Yeah, let's see what he does. Now I kind of wish that I was SD Scizor instead, because then I could just SD in his face perhaps. But you know, we do have two other set of sweepers, so that's fine. It's totally fine. You know, on second thought. Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. So he does have Firefang. Ah, uh, how unfortunate. Um if that's the case, I'm just gonna go yeah, Mega Hope Bug Buzz does something. Ah. Uh. So yeah, he might be banned. Cause I don't see an item. Um, he might even be Scarf, which would be kind of scary. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what happens. Right, for, we know for sure that his Magnezone is probably Specs. Because that did way too much damage on my Tank Chomp. Way too much. So yeah, um, hopefully uh, this random geezer can hurry up. <laughs> yeah, if I'm going to be completely honest, I think uh, his win is in the bag. I probably could have, if this thing is um, banned, I probably could have gone to Cloyster and set up, but I don't think we would be we would be uh, getting through Magnezone. So, 6% chance for a bug bus to KO. Uh, uh, I guess he did a calc. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of calcing damage. Uh, especially because um, you know you, you never know what set your opponent has. Cause like I, and not to mention like who knows like I might be modest instead of uh, timid. You know my opponent would never know that. Um so yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan. But let, let's see let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna go closer. Do that uh, shell smash thing. <laughs> and you know hopefully we can get like 10 million crits on uh, <laughs> his Magnezon. This maybe. Say fire franks here. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna spear. I have to go hard into Magnezone. Um... Wait, guys, this thing gets to a KO'd. Nice. Great. Great, great, great. 
Um, well now we're in a better chance. I'm not too sure why uh, he decided to switch out there. Because um, his uh, t tower is just going to come back and uh, you know, die to rocks. But anyways, we're going to shard just in case this thing is a uh, scarf. Yep. Scissor is in. Um, I'm going to rock blast here. Bull punch isn't going to kill. Nice. Uh, rock blast will. Thank goodness it connected. <laughs> um, I'm going to spear you. Oh, GG. Yo, guys, I can't believe we won. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't feel that good to win on a, a misplay by my opponent. Um, he made a bad call going into uh, zone. Also, just, just, a, just a weird thing in my head um, is that uh, I think that guy was around 1200s. Um, but, you know, if you're a 1200 player, like, why are you, why are you even doing calc? Like, come on, you're, you're a beginner. <laughs> or maybe I was a 1200, he was a 1400. But it, like still like I, I think forty hundred like isn't a range that you should calc for. I don't know. It's just a thing that I like to think. Me personally, um, but whenever I calc, it's like when I'm actually like trying desperately ladder. But uh, I haven't done that yet in BDSVOU. I've been doing that in a uh, Sword and Shield. Um, when I was around sixteen hundred or seventeen hundreds, I never got past eighteen hundreds. But um, yeah, still like I, I remember when I was uh, really uh when I was really into it. Uh, I would sometimes occasionally calc. Anyways, uh, let's get right into this battle. He has some um, annoying Pokemon that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, I don't like those Heatrans and those uh, Blissey cores. Yeah, not my, not a fan of it. Not, not a fan of it at all. Um, let's see what's going on. Okay, so he might leak Glasscore, but I don't really have an answer to Glasscore. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna lead Lantern. As he goes to Unite. He might switch into Blissey. Um, he might even EQ right now. I'm gonna go Garchomp because I think it's the safest bet. As much as I would want to uh, Specs Ice Beam this thing for damage, but... You know. It might be banned, so... A banded EQ would definitely kill Lantern. Even a max HP at Lantern, that's that. Alright, let's see let's see what he wants to do. Let's see. So we go chomp, and he goes straight for an outrage. Wow. <laughs> Did not expect that, not gonna lie. Okay, at least we broke his multi skill. That's uh really all we really need for now. Um I think I sure kills. It has to, it has to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, no. No way. At least we lived that, but still. No way. Uh, I was really confident I shot would kill. How unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But, you know, uh, hopefully Sceptile can put in the work. Alright, so Starmie is in. We have Lantern for you. Lantern's such a great counter against uh, Starmies or Rotom washes or anything. Um, so he does Hydro. Uh, that might be Specs damage. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Um, now what I can do is I'm gonna go hard into Cloister on his Blissey. Cool. And just, just Spear for damage. As you probably got a seismic toss. Or Shadow Ball. Huh. Serene Grace, perhaps? Just maybe. Um, anyways, uh, we did that. A really cool. Nice interaction. I'm gonna sub here. Maybe maybe we can get to sleep here. Just maybe, just maybe. I'm hoping. As a heat trans in. Um Ooh, okay. Should I SD or EQ? I wanna SD. I'm committing. Alright, so he does have Lava Plume. Very cool, very cool. I'm just gonna sub down to Lychee. Yep. Lava Plume. Yep. And nice, now we have our Lychee Berry activated. And that also means 
we're unburdened. So look at our speed, guys. 744. <laughs> Nothing can touch us. And gone, Heatran. Goodbye. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Oh no, you're Sash, aren't you? You're Sash. You're not Sash. <laughs> guys, guys, Septile. Septile's coming. <laughs> can Glyscore stop Septile? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Also, guys, uh, yeah, he was 1400s, but still, I don't think 14, the, the previous one, but yeah, 1400s, I don't think is a range that you should be calculating at. Let's get one more battle in. I think we're 3 for 3 so far. Um, Let's make that 4 for 4. Okay, so we got a very cool team, very cool team by our opponent. It's Haunter instead of Gengar. <laughs> oh, that's funny, it's because Gengar is banned and Haunter is a, it's pretty strong. I heard um that... Uh, I think Modest Gang Hunter uh, has more special attacks than Timid Gengar, which I think is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So I'm not too sure what his set is. It might be Specs. Oh, it might even be Scarf. But yeah, he has some fast mods on his team. So who knows? Um, I think I would like to. Hmm. What, what do I want to do? Let me think, let me think. I think I just want to go Garchomp. Turn 1. As we are a Garchomp ditto. <laughs> cool. I, I think we're both a Lee Chomp. Perhaps, perhaps. Um, What to do, what to do? I think I want to try and set up rocks. Alright, and he does the same. Cool. Uh, he's probably faster. We are, um... We, we, we don't have any speed at all. <laughs> uh the case that is the case i'm gonna drop a draco as he's uh, a physical set very cool okay nice we did some good damage some good solid damage um he might now make a switch into his gyarados uh or jirachi predicting that i'm gonna earthquake that is so what i want to do i just want to go into scissor now Ah, uh, as he earthquakes. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Uh, do you have fire blast? Maybe, you might, you might. Uh, if that's the case, I'm just gonna try and defog. Nice. Um, ape is in, I'm gonna go chomp. He CCs, very cool. Um, he takes some nice, nice recoil. Uh, not recoil, sorry, um, rough skin damage. Uh, let's see what we can do. I could sack Garchomp. Um, but if he's if he's locked in, I could go hard into Yen Mega. Is what I'm currently thinking. Hmm, I'm gonna make some tough decisions. Some real tough decisions. I am. Mm. I'm gonna go hard into Yan Mega. Cause I, I think he's locked in. I think. Alright, and now I'm gonna go with Bug Buzz. Hoping he's locked in. It might not, and he might have like a pinch barrier or something, but I don't know guys. It's either uh life orb or uh full on offensive. So he goes into his Jirachi. This thing is very tanky, wow. Amazing. Oh, okay. Um, he might be a Wishmon. I wouldn't be surprised if he is. If that's the case, I'm gonna go into my Chomp. He, as he Doom Desires. Interesting. Very interesting. So if that's the case, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my rocks. As he goes to his own Chomp. Um, I think... So Doom Desires is gonna hit this turn, so I'm just gonna stay in. Sack my Chomp. And nice, we take each other out. Okay. So he might go... Uh, hard into ape. Uh, what would I do? I'd probably go ape and just click buttons. <laughs> hmm. I do want to keep scissor because I I want to defog away these hazards. So, do I, should I go septile now? Ooh, guys, guys, I'm gonna go septile now. I think it was Jachi. I'm gonna sub. 
the desires to doom. <laughs> um, we get SD here. See, is U-turn. Then Hunter is in. You, you can't be Scarf. I just realized you have Levitate. Oh wow. Ooh. Ooh, that is <laughs> that's intimidating. Um, okay, you know what? I have to I have to deal with damage then. Because he can just sledge bomb right now. And um the Doom Desire uh, like so even if I sub, uh he can break my sub with sledge bomb and Doom Desire is gonna kill. He's he's scarf. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Well, let's get rid of these hazards then. As he goes Gyarados, um very cool, very cool. I'm gonna U-turn. Okay, nice. Um, I'm gonna go Yamega yeah, because I know I'm faster. And should I just bug buzz? I'm just gonna buzz his face. And that's not doing much damage. Oh wow, T-Wave. T-Wave Gyarados. <sighs> I'm gonna buzz buzz here. Bug buzz. Nice, we got a kill. And we're gonna lose Yamega. Yeah, Oh, guys, I really don't want to lose to a Haunter. <laughs> Please. And if I do, I can't believe... Sorry, I can't wait to uh, lose against a Ghastly in the near future. Watch, it's going to happen. I'm going to go Lantern because this thing is bulky. And, wow, that did a lot of damage. A solid amount. He goes for it again, uh, but we kill. Perfect. Um... I suppose now I'm gonna go yeah mega. He could go ape, and I'm fine if he does. Then I just sack uh, Yan Mega and set up with Glacier. So he goes Luxray. If that's the case, I'm gonna go hard into a uh, Lantern. Ah, uh, okay. So he does that, <laughs> and he freezes us. <laughs> Very cool. All right, so he's guts obviously, uh, and he quick attacks. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, well, we are in a bit of a situation, aren't we? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's Thunderfang or Spark or Wild Charge. I, th I think he has Wild Charge. I'm pretty sure Wild Charge is going to kill Scissor from this range. He could easily kill Yan Mega. Mm. I should have just let Yan Mega die. <laughs> Should I go hard as Glacier? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Scissor and hope he, he has Wild Charge and also get some uh, Chip with Blow Punch. Okay, so he has Wild Charge. So he took a lot of recoil. Now I'm gonna go Cloister. Hope we're faster. Hope. Or actually, wait, hold up. Guys, watch this. I'm gonna go Yan Mega first. Just let uh, Yan Mega die to a Wild Charge. Yeah, Cloyster is definitely not going to survive a wild charge, but um, I'm trying to get it into ice shard range. That's that's my current plan. Okay, so yeah, make it in. It has Volt Switch. Ah, interesting. So he goes Jirachi here. Um, I have to smash. I have to shell smash. So he is going to Doom Desire. Ah, uh, that's not going to do enough. Yeah, guys, we lost. <laughs> I wonder what other moves Jirachi has. Uh, of course, he's Wish. Protect, maybe? Yeah. Ah, unfortunate. <laughs> Our uh, team with two NU mons just can't uh, face against this OU team. Although, he does, he did have uh, Luxray and Hunter. I believe uh, NU and NFE. <laughs> but, you know what, guys? I had a lot of fun with this team. So I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied, totally. But anyways guys, that is a team. Hope you liked it. Um We we got a we got a dub with Septo. Absolutely amazing guys. That, this is why you put Earthquake. Not Drain Punch. Drain Punch isn't gonna kill Heatran, even for, even at plus three. But Earthquake though, oh that thing is gone. Straight up gone. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a like for my boy Septo. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Dame, dame.